Beyond Armed Confrontation People around the world usually believe that a non-international armed conflict is exclusively about military confrontations. But there is more just than stereotypes. It is necessary to disclose what is not evident. How does an internal armed conflict affect the nation's environment? Are the natural resources being redistributed? What happens with foreign investment within the country? Is international cooperation busted? Does the perspective of international law and international relations change? Are there economic consequences? Is the country able to function normally? How is life in such country on a daily basis? There should be definitely more beyond armed confrontations. Let's look at Colombia's case and find out what it is. The purpose of this course is the introduction of an alternative vision to the mainstream knowledge to the nature of internal armed conflicts, using the Colombian case as an illustrative example. The course will be coordinated by four Colombian experts on international law. Colombia has been immersed into a long-range armed conflict for the last 50 years. A great variety of actors, namely official army, guerrillas, paramilitary groups and drug cartels, among others, have been engaged in the constant dispute over valuable assets and their productive structures. After the intent to demobilize paramilitary groups during 2005, in 2012, the government in power announced the opening of peace process with FARC, the oldest guerrilla involved in the armed conflict. That situation paved the way for the introduction of new discourses of restorative justice, post-conflict justice and peace building. Approaches developed by mainstream academia and policy making have limited the concept of armed conflicts to human rights violations, conduct of hostilities and criminal liability. Notwithstanding, it will be demonstrated that such perspectives are not exclusive. What is the context behind the internal armed conflict in Colombia? What are the relevant actors, values, logics and social processes around the Colombian conflict? Beyond the regulation of armed confrontation or the location of criminal liability, which are the other legal branches associated with this regulation of internal armed conflicts and what is their content and scope? Give the course a vote and allow us to show you that there is more beyond confrontation.